Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't... Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask, how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, god. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way! Stay inside and lock the doors! Right. Forrest, come on! You need to focus! Shit, we need a new plan! My car is torched! We need to think! You need to run for it! The whistling man might break through the door! We can't run for it! Deputy Martinez isn't even conscious. And what are we going to do? Run to Henderson on foot? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... I'll just reach into your pocket there, Deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait, how am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. 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 Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? Yes, but just to make sure we mean the same thing, 
What are you here? The knocking stopped. Everything's gone really quiet. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No. I don't see him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Okay. Deputy Martinez? If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <sighs> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So... Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <laughs>